Cooking a larger joint of meat is a wonderful skill to have and I'm going to show you step by step how to cook the perfect lamb shoulder. Now this lamb shoulder is called a Moorish lamb shoulder. Yes it is Moorish as in really tasty and succulent but Moorish as in the flavours that are going into this. You can see I've got loads of different spices here and Moorish food is a combination of North African food, a little bit of Italian food. It's the combination of the Mediterranean and the North African influence there. So in a dry pan and here we want to get our spices toasted. Cumin seeds go in along with some coriander seeds, some smoked paprika can go in and a little bit of saffron. Now you do want to leave that saffron to the last minute because you don't want it to burn. We just want to release or extract some of those flavours and put it straight into a mortar and pestle. So oh, heavy mortar and pestle and then in with our whole spices and those ground spices. Now I'm just gonna grind that together to break up the whole spices there and combine it. And look at that, and the smell. Oh, there's nothing like that smell, that cumin and the coriander, so gorgeous. I love this combination. And now I'm going to add some salt in there along with two cloves of garlic. And we're going to start bruising them and start mixing that together until we've got a rough paste. And now I'm gonna build on these flavors by adding some coriander. Now I'm not only going to use some of the leaves, but I'm also going to use some of the stalk there. So roughly chop it, and I will put a few of the leaves in, but reserve some for later. Scrunch that up. And in with the coriander. And I'll also add some preserved lemon. Now this is about half a preserved lemon here. I'm going to also just chop it roughly. You've got to be careful when you're using preserved lemon. If you use too much of it, the flavour is kind of soapy. So you don't want to use any more than that. So let's mush that together and bruise that coriander. Now we want to bring this all together. So just with a little bit of olive oil, we're going to bind it. So about two tablespoons of olive oil to start with. And I will get a spoon and just bring down the side so everything is being mixed together. And again, another bruising there until we've got a paste. Look at that, gorgeous. And not too wet, you don't want this to be wet because you want it to stick to the lamb. Now for the lamb, I've got a tidy piece of lamb shoulder here. My butcher has removed the lamb shank and you can see the bone is still in it leave the bone in it because that is flavour, especially when it's cooking for a long time. I've just trimmed off a little bit of the fat, but leave some of it on because the fat will act as a blanket. Now for this delicious paste, we'll just take it off there and grab it with your hands and just smother the lamb shoulder with this. And we'll turn it over, reserve some of it. Now at this stage, if you're at home, you would put this in the fridge, cover it with some Glad Wrap and leave it overnight, even better, two days. So all of these gorgeous flavours can penetrate the meat. But I'm gonna get it straight into the pan now so we can see the final result. I've got a big pot roast here and I'm gonna put that on a medium to high heat. You could also use an earthenware dish too, a really heavy based one to cook this. Now a little bit of olive oil in the base, just a small amount because we do have some already on that lamb. And what I'm gonna do is just scrape some of it off. So if this was in the fridge overnight, you would scrape this off when you brought it out. And also a good point to touch on here, you wanna bring this out of the fridge about an hour before cooking. You don't want it to be cold, it's just gonna take longer to cook. So remove it from the fridge now to bring it to room temperature. Now scrape all that goodness together because we wanna use it, so don't throw it away. We'll add it later on. And now when that's really hot, we're going fat side down first. And we're just going to get some colour and render some of that fat off. And then I'm going to turn it over. So you want it to be golden on all sides. This won't take long because of the spices that are in there and the herbs that are in there too. But while that's happening, I can get on to my onions. So two large onions and I'm going to slice them. Now this 
got some colour, it can come straight out of the pan. And then I'm going to add the onions and the capsicum. I'm going to cook that for about five minutes to soften. Now that these onions and the capsicum have really softened, now let's add some white wine. And I'm going to add it now so it really bubbles away and reduces a little bit. And we want to cook off the rawness of that wine. Perfect. I'll also add two bay leaves in now. And we can add this 1.5 kilogram shoulder in now to the white wine. And this is where our marinade comes into play. I'm just going to smear it on the lamb, on the top here, to give it extra flavour. So just coat the topping. It's okay if a little bit falls into the onion mix there. Gorgeous. And now for some tomatoes. Now I'm using canned tomatoes here because I want the thick richness of it. So one can of tomato, put that around the meat. Fabulous. And you can just imagine this cooking for three hours, how rich this sauce is going to be. And now we need a little bit more liquid in here because it's going to be cooking for so long. So a little bit of stock, about 500 millilitres. You want it to come at least halfway up the meat so it stays really moist throughout this cooking process. I'm going to now add a little bit more salt to the top and in the tomatoes there. And now I'm going to place a little cartouche on top, which is a piece of glad bake. And I'm just going to scrunch it up. And then I'm going to just place it on top like a little blanket. Lid goes on and my oven is at 160 degrees. And once again, allow it to cook for three hours or until the meat falls off the bone. Now the meat has come out of the oven and I've just allowed it to cool a little bit. It is super soft. And when you do bring this out of the oven, the sauce will be a little bit liquidy, but what you want to do is reduce it by a lot until it's really thick. You can see here, it's been on the stove for about 15 minutes and it's thick and it's lush and it's super concentrated and everything is really, really soft. Now let's plate up. I love sauce. <laughs> so I'm going to make a double whammy of sauce. So a little bit of yogurt here with a big squeeze of lemon juice and honey. Honey and lamb and all those flavours that we've added work really nicely together. So about half a tablespoon to a tablespoon of honey goes in and give that a really good mix. It's quite tart but really refreshing with this dish. So we'll put a big dollop on our plate here and spread it. And what I did was about 45 minutes to an hour before this was cooked, I added these vegetables to the oven. They're just soft potatoes. There are some carrots in there. And I just love this with it. And it takes no time at all to do. So I'm just gonna scatter these around. Great addition to this. And I've even got a little bit of beetroot there. Have a look at this lamb. The meat is pretty much falling straight from this bone. But I don't want to ruin it. I want it to stay whole for the presentation. So just carefully lift it with the bone still in there. We'll place it on our plate there. I've also got some Sicilian olives here and we'll just place them around. You can just bruise them up a little bit if you like. I'm going to leave them whole. And now for the yummy sauce, a big spoonful of this over the top and around the meat there. The smells are fantastic. I wish, I wish you could smell this. And the richness of those tomatoes, you can see that in the sauce and that's helped thicken this. And a little bit of garnish, just a little bit more. I've got some sprigs of parsley and a little bit of coriander. It looks very trendy on the board, but aside from how good it looks, this tastes spectacular. Three hours is worth the wait for this gorgeous, Moorish-inspired lamb shoulder.